I want to talk to you about Miles Web, and uh, the big question is, is it worth your investment? Of course, we are speaking about the web hosting, so we want to really dig a little deeper here. So here's a presentation I want you to pay attention to. So when you think about Miles Web, I want you to think about uh, a relatively new hosting company in India. It has less than 10 years. It's actually less than 10 years old. It's, it, it actually was started like in the in the 20 like between 2010 and 2020 and uh, what we love about the, this uh, this web hosting company is that it has a crisp modern interface that's much easier to use than some of its competitors support is pro provided in english and you can sign up even if you don't live in india so this is kind of cool i mean they have customers in the states they have customers in canada they have customers in the uk they have customers in australia and new zealand and south africa for for, for among other other countries and miles web also has a broader range of data centers than the other Indian hosts. You can host your site in India, in the US, in Canada, in Singapore, or the UK. So this is kind of cool. And uh, there are quite a few different hosting services available. So we love that a lot in terms of flexibility and scalability. And here I'm speaking about shared hosting. For instance, you do have managed WordPress hosting. You also have a VPS, cloud hosting, also reseller accounts and dedicated servers. And so Miles Web looks good on the surface. But while hosting, uh, while hosting uh, some uh, busy websites, you might have a few surprises. I mean, I'll go in details later on. So what are the pros and cons here? When we think about Miles Web, the pros first, you have a wide range of hosting products. You have a free domain included with all annual or longer plans. You have a free SSL certificate and you have worldwide data centers to choose from. So you have the, that's what I was, talk, I was talking to you about when I said flexibility and scalability. What about the cons here? Well, their marketing processes, their marketing practices are not really, really clear or transparent. In other words, they are a bit dubious and uh, they have to really do a better job around that. And the shared hosting plan is labeled as unlimited, but it, it, in fact, it is limited. So it's one of those things where you have to be clear as to what really works for you. So when you think about Miles Web, as I said before, they were established in the, in the 2010s. So the, the exact date is uh, 2012 to 2013. So they're relatively new. I mean, they've been here like for like 10 years. OK, and it's one of those things where they still are trying to improve their service. But hey, listen, overall, it's a great it's a great company to consider, at least consider. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. I want to talk to you about the pricing here. I want you to look on the screen right now for, for a minute. Look, look at the prices we're talking about. This is really, really, we haven't seen uh, prices as low as uh, this in the last uh, two to three years. Okay. So you look at the, the Ignite, the Elite, the Stellar and the Alpha Cloud. So you can see that the prices are pretty, are pretty, pretty low. So Miles Web offers uh, quite a number of different hosting services, starting with basic shared hosting all the way to managed WordPress, cloud reseller, VPS and dedicated server hosting. With most hosting types, customers are free to choose which operating system they would like to use, Linux or Windows, and this uh, doesn't seem to affect the pricing, so this is kind of cool. And the number of presented plans depend on uh, the, the, really depends on uh, the hosting type, but the minimum is three. Okay, so the most affordable uh, the most affordable hosting plan goes uh, by the name Ignite, as you saw on the screen here, and uh, so it really starts at, a, at an, an extremely cheap. 70 cents this is really but you got you got to commit for you got to commit to uh like to this service for three years though okay and so 70 cents per month okay and this will get you uh one free domain registration for the first year unmetered bandwidth one gigabyte of uh, ssd disk space and free ssl certificate yes automated backups will cost you extra cash even though it is labeled as one of uh, the unlimited hosting plans the only uh, unlimited feature it offers it's, is uh, the bandwidth, while both email accounts and disk space have clear limitations. So the bottom line here is that before making a decision in terms of uh, bandwidth, you gotta ask yourself what your needs really are and you wanna read the fine prints so you have a clear idea what they're offering because the bottom line here is that you want to choose something that really fits, that really suits your operations. Well, what we love about uh, Miles Web is that they offer a standard 30-day money-back guarantee so this is kind of cool. So some refunds might be given in the form of credit, which might depend on the payment method you originally opted for. So, you know, it's one of those things where you're not always able to get your cash back. 
but you can choose to pay with credit or debit card, PayPal, direct bank transfer, or via RuPay, basically an Indian version of PayPal. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Miles Web, and the question is, is Miles Web web hosting really worth it? Let's talk about the features here. So when we think about Miles Web, what kind of features should you be thinking about? Well, first of all, you have good plan features, and uh, but they, they just need to work on their backup policy. Okay, so you are able to uh, you are able to have uh, like you get the uh, Cloudflare integration. You have the Sataculous one-click installer suite. You have free migration from your old host. This is kind of cool. As long as it is, as long as uh, it also has cPanel, of course. So you have a uh, sad pad, you have sad publisher. This is kind of cool. There is a backup tool, but mouse web automatically deletes all C panel backups on Sunday. So uh, it's one of those things where you have to see what works for you, download your backups, or you could actually wind up having problems later. And there is a, vir a virus scanner like on windows. So within C panel, you will find a nice virus scanner tool. The whole thing is pretty simple and there is nothing much to say besides hit the button and it does the scan for you and uh, so this is really cool you have free ssl so this is always a great so miles web gives you free ssl on all planes and that's great news ssl is responsible for ensuring that you get the little padlock icon on the url uh, bar of your browser and also encrypting everything that goes on between your websites and your users and it will help you to build confidence with your visitors as well as giving you a little ranking boost on uh, in google search results there are SEO tools too, so this is kind of cool. We love that a lot. And so you have the ability to always sort of uh, optimize your operations. And so actually, uh, MilesWeb has a market goo, an automated analysis tool within cPanel. And this is kind of cool. And you have this also in Hostinger. You have this in Bluehost. You have this in Cloudhost as well. So this is kind of cool. And uh, so the tips it gives you are not going to complete, like to actually uh, completely revamp your SEO, but this tool will help you uh, help will help get you into the right mindset as you develop your your site. So this is kind of cool. So, uh, but overall, you have a a a pretty convoluted, complex sort of uh, offering here with uh, Miles Web. Just uh, be sure that you read the fine print so you have a clear idea what's included in all the plans. Let's talk about ease of use here. So when we think about Miles Web, is it easy to use or not easy to use? Let's talk about that. Well, once you have signed up, actually managing your hosting is not too bad. Thanks to uh, the, the, the efforts of Miles Web's own designers and the standardized experience provided by cPanel. So the bulk of learning how to use a web host always uh, comes from learning how hosting itself works. The rest is just finding the right buttons to do the, the, the thing you want, okay? And installing WordPress is pretty straight, straightforward. So you have the uh, Softaculous installer, which you will find in uh, in cPanel. So once you've got Softaculous open, find WordPress and click the Install Now button. So things are pretty straight, straightforward. And Softaculous asks you to fill in to fill in a form and configure some basic settings like your website name and then the username and password you want. Once that's done, click the click one button, install now, and the script gets the work setting up your new WordPress site for you. So this is kind of cool. In terms of performance here, and uh, when uh, the the we love the fact that uh, with MozWeb you have a uh, ninety nine point ninety seven percent uptime in terms of the server uptime. So this is kind of cool. So this is a pretty good, a pretty high. Uh, Uptime guarantee, so we love that a lot. And uh, Miles Web is constantly sort of uh, working on their on their performance. This is really great, and it's one of those things where you have to understand when you think about ninety nine point ninety seven, you are speaking about uh, a pretty a pretty uh, a pretty fast sort of performance here. And what we love about uh, Miles Web is that they have all kinds of uh, servers also. So the server location is not just in India. This company is based in India, but and they've been around for 10 years, but they have server locations in, in, the, in the States, in Canada, in Australia, in the UK, in India, of course, and uh, in other other countries in Asia. But the bottom line is they're, they are really uh, constantly given options. They're giving their customers uh, options 
to actually when it comes to uh, operational and geographical uh, capabilities. So we love that a lot in terms of the flexibility that you have. So long story short, when you think about uh, op time, when you think about safety, when you think about security, we love the, we love the options that uh, MilesWeb gives its customers. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, MilesWeb web hosting. I want to talk to you about the extras here. So when you think about, uh, let's first talk about the ease of use. So what we love about uh, MozWeb is that they are pretty, uh, they're pretty, pretty straightforward in terms of uh, ease of use. Fantastic. We love the fact that there are, bu there are buttons there are, are at the right place. There, there are some situations where you, you can think about some dubious sort of marketing strategies in terms of uh, upselling you, but overall pretty straightforward. Okay. And so, for instance, if you decide upon a hosting plan, the process of purchasing it is uh, can can be really, really easy. Although you might have a few worries. So after uh, registering a few, like uh, if you register a few facts about your your business, you can register a new domain, for instance, transferring an old one or using it as it is. You will proceed to choose the billing cycle. There, you might notice that a free domain is excluded if you want to uh, be billed for just one month. Additionally, the, that month will cost you about three bucks while committing for a year. We'll drop the price to $1.50 and 60 cents for three years. In any case, website migrations are cost free options, as is uh, the SSL certificate. Okay. And as for uh, servers, two are available for the cheapest shared hosting plan. One is located in New York and another in uh, Mumbai, India. So before proceeding, double check for any unwanted additions to your chart. And uh, it's uh, as it's one of those things where they're constantly trying to upsell you. So be very clear there. And uh, otherwise, the price can be raised significantly without you knowing it. You, you, you do not want to have that. And so after this, to finish creating your, your Miles Web account, you have to provide them with uh, some standard personal data, as well as additional information about what types of uh, SMS notifications you want to receive. Then you can create a password, select the payment method, complete your order and wait for a further instructions. So this is kind of cool in terms of uh, helping you sort of flesh out your strategy. So this is really cool. Now, once your website shows up, managing every aspect of it will be a rather comfortable experience as a result of a user friendly interface and famously easy to operate Linux based cPanel. And with uh, the, the Softaculous installer, WordPress is one click away. And so is a great deal of uh, popular applications. So if you would prefer to use a website builder, you will be given one with plenty of free templates and straightforward drag and drop functionality. So this is kind of cool. I want to talk to you about the speed and experience here. So it's one of those things where we love the fact that WordPress is a uh, it's one of the focus that the miles web does have and what we love about uh miles web is that they're constantly out there in terms of speed and and uh when it comes to safety also okay and so the time it took to completely load when we, when we were testing miles web the time it took to completely load the page was about two to three seconds which looks perfectly fine when compared to uh, the average of eight to nine seconds additionally the whole process took 80 to 90 request while well, the average is like uh, any 85 so this is kind of cool and so miles web is doing it really great in terms of uptime as i said a little earlier so when you think about 99.99 uh, .99 or 99.95 those are pretty percent of course those are pretty high so this is really cool and this is because they have tier 3 and tier 4 data centers and they're constantly sort of ramping up the uh, operational functionalities and operational scalabilities of those uh, data centers this is really cool. What about support? And well, the thing is that with support, you got to be a little cautious, though, because uh, unfortunately, you do not have uh, all kinds of supports. In other words, for instance, they don't have uh, like a phone support 24 seven. OK, they were pretty great when it comes to uh, live chat. That's for sure. And email. But uh, if you if you're thinking about reaching someone on the phone, you might be on the phone for a long time unless you are on the higher plans and uh, users are able to browse the knowledge base with the help of a search box or by choosing one of the relevant categories, followed by subcategories and so on. 
there is a sufficient quantity of articles and uh, they seem to be updated almost uh, day after day so this is kind of cool so so when you think about miles web you got to think primarily of uh self-help okay and uh, it, it's just what it is i mean with uh with the uh, prices that low you are not going to expect a fully fledged sort of uh, customer service operation and apart from self-help Mouseweb provides all the expected types of customer support and importantly in English, okay? So customers can get in touch with them via telephone, live chat, ticket, on, or email, and all the above mentioned options should be available around the clock throughout the year. But again, it's uh, for phone phone support, you get the faster support, you get a faster service if you are on the higher tiers. It is what it is. Let's talk about the rivals here. So when you think about uh, MousWeb, you have a constellation of uh, rivals. You have, for instance, uh, you have, of course, you have the, the regulars, you have uh, Bluehost, you have uh, Hostinger, you have CloudHost, you have, so you have a lot of, you have a liquid web, you have a lot of them. And uh, although Strato is based in Germany and MousWeb in India, they share equally high hopes and determinations to conquer the international market. That being said, Strato's lack of user-oriented oriented cPanel, limited selection of available apps, and unavailable, uh, unavailability of live chat customer support makes them hard to recommend in place of MozWeb. And uh, you can also think about Bluehost. I've said this before. You also have uh, you have HostGator, for instance. It's another player that you might want to uh, think about. And uh, so HostGator may not be as cheap as uh, its critic, but uh, all plans offer both unlimited bandwidth and disk space free domain and website transfer you have a generous 45 day money back guarantee this is really cool while mods web has uh, a valid 30 days about hundred dollars of google ads and bing ads credits and uh, this is kind of cool and you also have a 24 7 365 support as well and so you so you have uh you also have a lot of other players you have leads web for instance this is also really great so in conclusion do we recommend uh, Miles Web? Yes, we definitely recommend Miles Web. We also uh, think it's it's safe. It is legit. It is uh, actually uh, it is worth your ROI. And so the range of hosting solutions Miles Web's offer is nothing but impressive, as well as their ability to try to satisfy the requirements of every type of website. However, certain ambiguities about some of the features, as well as somewhat somewhat distasteful marketing practices might make some people consider other options. Ultimately, MouseWeb's popularity is on the rise, particularly in the US and India, and for a good reason. Their services are all inclusive, affordable, and reliable, and uh, their customer support is diligent, well-versed, and, and also helpful. So if you are still not certain that MouseWeb has everything you're looking for, well-established the providers such as Hostinger, Bluehost, and HostGator always present an excellent alternative. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Let's quickly do a recap here. So I was I gave you a, a Miles Web uh, review today. So I gave you the presentation, the pricing, the features, the ease of use, the performance, the extras, the rivals, and then now the conclusion. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.